thank you for joining me. Um, wanted to share a little flip through of a kit. It's a journal kit um, that I just got done here recently. Um, it is comes with a cover that is seven and a half by five and a quarter by one. Okay. The cover, I've already reinforced the spine on this. Let me show you. It's already been reinforced. It is ready for binding. I'm not going to bind this book because I thought someone may enjoy working in it before that. Um, it, it comes with three signatures that are already done for you. This is some watercolor paper with some um, collage fabric. There's some dyed papers in here and some papers just out of a book. And there are one, two, three, four, let's see. I think 24 pages all together in this. Front and back, it would be 24 pages for this book. And I'll thumb through all the paper for you. Sort of has a tree theme to it, so that's why there are tree pages from a tree book and leaves and things like that. And some more watercolor paper with fabric on it and some more dyed papers. So that gets you to show you that part of the book. And like I said, it's ready just to be bound if you want to. If you wanted a Cover, uh, a matching cover piece. This could be used any way you want to, but there is this piece here that could go on. And these are all collage pieces. They were done on um, some brown um, craft card. And there are vintage papers on here. There are hand painting. This is some really old handwritten paper. Um, these are just some painted papers that I had done and stitching and painting. So there's a lot of, you know, everything is very coordinated in this kit. And my thought was that you could even take pieces of this apart, cut it apart and cut it down to make tags or, you know, whatever you wanted to, to do with this journal. Um, there's a little bag here that's sewn out of some hand painted paper. And um, then it's been collaged and painted, and you can see the little tree here. And inside this little bag, we have a little bag of goodies. This comes with glass beads and shell buttons and um, metal um, eyelets. And um, those are not rivets. What do you call those things? The little fasteners. Um, good grief, the name left on my brain. Um, there's a little bag of some ephemera, little tiny pieces of ephemera that match the colors in the kit. There are some little pieces of lace and fabric. There are some tags that are already kind of ready for ready to go for you that were just put together out of different scrap things. It's another tag, three tags in there, and then there is this little, just like a card, like a little journaling card or something, and they've got all this hand painting on them. So all that is in the envelope. And you probably could really make two books out of this if you wanted to, if you just add some paper to another book cover, because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, this little folder like I said, my thoughts were that maybe, you know, you could cut this down and it could be little books that you could tuck in there or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink. My throat's getting dry from talking. Um, here's the little folder. Hand-painted paper. Collage. Got some tea bag and vintage you know, um, writing paper, that kind of thing. And inside here, there's just a variety of things that that could be used for this kit. There are some oop, tissue paper trees that can be collaged on there. Some tr different tree to go with the, the trees here. There is 
let's see, a little paper bag that's dyed that can be used for something. This is resin paper that can be used on the kit. There's, um, this is from a, a stamp that I carved, a leaf that I print, was printing with the stamp. Some hand painted paper. Some of these little gold foil sheets that you can see that I sprinkled the gold all through here. There's some really heavy lined paper. There's some more dyed paper. There's some flocked paper. Um, some pieces of book. This is little pieces of books, of old books. The spines. Um, more flocked paper. Some of the writing paper that was used for collage on here. More um, resin paper. Little collage card. More little scraps of writing. Piece of that cool packing. Um, I think this might be a dyed baby wipe. A piece of that from something. More hand painted papers. And more pieces of that book. Some more hand painted papers. Some lined paper. Some more of the painted papers. Even more painted papers. And a couple of paint chips that I had just laying around the studio. So you get a really good collage pack with this one. A lot of good stuff. And this one is an envelope, um, just a you know return mail envelope or something that came in the mail. And it is completely collaged. And you could cut this apart and use it as part of your um, book or whatever you wanted to do with it. But um, there's the folder. And in here, we've got some fabrics. This is actually fabric. It's cork, but look at the gold behind it. Isn't that cool? Um, and here's some more of it that had just a stripe of gold. I used this on a, a project in my house. Oh, it's stuck. And um, I kept it for um, just because I thought the gold was cool. That part was cool. Here's an old linen in here. There's a piece of black velvet that I thought would look cool on the spine. Um, some of this shimmery, you know, glittery gold that kind of matches that shimmer. Some green, um, this is like velvet. It's like woven and then velvet. Some tooled leather. Some burlap. This is a textural kit. It's really textural. Here's some, um, corduroy. So soft. So pretty. Some other leather. Um, three little sewn, um, what do you call these? Clusters. Like three little clusters that are sewn. Those are in there. There's some of this mesh fabric. Some print fabric. Some cheesecloth and some silk. So it's super, super textural. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff. Like I said, you could get more than just this book out of this kit. Now, as to when am I going to be listing this, um, I've, re I've you know, said this in other videos. I'm really not sure because of the things that are going on right now, and I'm not sure about mail and, and you know things like that. But I did want to go ahead and share it um, and I will um, try to put out a notice on Facebook when I um, actually list or you can just check the shop. Um, I'm trying to figure all this out just like everyone else is with everything going on. So um, stay safe, stay well. Thank you for joining me for this little um, sneak peek and I will see you around the studio.